Benny Heinemann. Benny, would you please uh, stand and acknowledge? <laughs> Benny, who is the producer of this uh, work in progress, is known in Barbados for her work as executive director of the National Trust from 1992 to 1999, which under her stewardship restored several historic sites. She was a project director of the George Washington House Restoration and Museum Creation from 1999 to 2007, and also worked in the field of natural conservation as president of the Caribbean Conservation Association. Before her return to Barbados in 1992, she had a 25-year career in Canada in film, television, arts, administration, and writing. I realized then that for us in the region to get our work seen by people, we had to work cooperatively, regionally, pooling talent, resources, and equipment to produce that could make it on the international screen. So Growing Up Caribbean was born. It became a series of half-hour fiction films about childhood experiences across the region. About childhood experiences, not necessarily for children, although we ended up with some of the scripts would be one that children would enjoy immensely. We put out a call across the region for treatments. Treatments is a film term for a two, one or two page outline of a story idea. We got an overwhelming response. 36 submissions came in. We had to get this down to 14. Originally we were going to do 13, but we had to do 14. We couldn't resist it. It was a difficult task. But some were obvious choices. For example, when you get a script outline from Michael Jilks, for example, there's no discussion. We jump at it. So 14 stories from 10 countries, from Jamaica down the island chain to Guyana. We spent the next year working with the writers and story editors to produce the actual scripts, funded by an international agency of Barbados called the Caribbean Export Development Agency. It was an interesting regional experience because Caribbean people don't just stay in the Caribbean. They were in Bermuda, they were in London, they were in France, they were in um, New York. And so working, if, if, if it hadn't been for Skype, we would never have done it. Um, the writer directors that we chose, we chose for the most part those who would also direct, include some of the best known names in the region. Alwyn Bully from Dominica, Francis Ann Solomon from Trinidad, Michael Jokes, of course, Alison Saunders from Barbados, as well as some virtual newcomers who showed great talent. The main point is that with a significant body of work of such a series, you have a more attractive and more not marketable package in the international area of broadcasters than one individual film would have. Our Caribbean people abroad almost never get to see themselves their culture, their dialogue, their skin color, on television screens or in theaters in the US or UK or Europe or Canada. The, the idea of this series has struck a chord across the region. And I hope it will hear in Guyana with wonderful, the wonderful, wonderful story of Myra and Myroon and their Amerindian world. When, when I was a child, I grew up in the, the bush of Belize. For four years, we lived out in the interior of Belize, which of course is exactly like the interior of Guyana, mm -hmm. very similar. And I must tell you how profoundly affect, affected I was by our visit to the Rupanuni in 2011, when Michael and I and our cameraman, Omar Estrada, another Caribbean connection from Cuba, scouted locations and shot the teaser you've just seen tonight. The scale, the breathtaking beauty, the peace and the quiet, the remarkable sense of community of the people and the reverence for the for nature around them. You have here one of the treasures of the globe. I went back to Barbados and I told everyone, why are you going to Europe? Why are you going to Miami? Why are you going to London before you've gone to the interior of Guyana? It starts here. If with the film Myra and the Jaguar people, we can manage to communicate and share even a small part of that magical, unique beauty with the world, I will be happy, as Michael describes it. I'm also connected to a movement called Awaken the Dreamer, or Be the Change, which is a global movement now spreading very fast, 
in which people understand that the world has been dreaming the wrong dream for a long time. An Awaken the Dreamer was started by the Atuar indigenous people of Ecuador. When the people from America went down to work with them, they said, if you're coming to tell us what to do, go away. If you're coming to work with us, we welcome you. And that, that dialogue and uh, working has resulted in this extraordinary movement called Awaken the Dreamer. So Myra is the first film we'd like to make in the series. And with your assistance, Guyana can lead the way and fashion the model for what I hope will be a groundbreaking enterprise. Thank you very much.